I know this is gonna shock you, but I did it again. I shocked the sales, and how much cereal does one family need? Stay tuned to find out how much I saved this week. Marlene, aka Snow Garner 307, here with you to bring another sell grocery haul. As I said in my beginning, how much cereal does one family need? Well, we're gonna find out. I know I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but it's gonna go somewhere. I do have a little cheat sheet here that I'm gonna use to tell you guys about the Ibotta deals, but let me go ahead and get you turned around so I can tell you about how much money I saved. It's about how much I saved, right? Not how much I spent. So here is my grocery haul this week. I do want everybody to know that I was shopping sales this week. I went out of town for a doctor's appointment again, so I have most of the food that I need for the week already, and I still have more stockpile money, and there were some amazing sales going on, so I went ahead and took advantage of those. Some of these things, I'm not gonna remember what the price of them are, but I do have my cheat sheet here to help me with the Ibotta deals. So the cereal. I just bought cereal, right? But these were amazing deals. These were on the buy five, save five, and they also had cash back from Ibotta. So let me tell you guys how it worked. So all of these cereals, I bought five of each box because they were all a separate Ibotta deal. They were all on sale for $1.79 once you got the dollar off. There was also another coupon that stacked for $3 off of five cereals. So when I give you guys the prices for these, it's not gonna include that extra $3 off, just so you guys know. So Special K Red Berries on sale for $1.79, 60 cents off for Ibotta, so $1.19. The new Kellogg's Chocolatey Dipped Flakes with Almonds was on sale again, $1.79, a dollar I bought it. So these were 79 cents a box. The Frosted Flakes with Crispy Cinnamon Basketballs, same deal for that one, a dollar I bought it, so 79 cents a box. And then Mini Wheats, everybody in the family loves Mini Wheats, so anytime they go on sale, I do grab some of those. And these were on sale, $1.79 with a 60 cent I bought it off. So that's $1.19. And I am going to show you guys a price breakdown for my total with my I bought it. And I'm going to go ahead and include how much all 20 boxes of the cereal together cost me right here. Okay, now let's get into the bread. Now, these were some items that I needed for my meal plan this next week. So I did get some French sandwich rolls and I don't remember how much these were. So I'll let me put the price up for you, but we are going to be doing French dips this next week. And so that's what these rolls are for. Tomorrow we're going to be doing some easy dinners because we're going to be working out in the yard and doing a lot of projects. So I grabbed these submarine rolls to make some good old Dagwood sandwiches, right? The ones with lots of meat, lots of cheese, all the yumminess on there. And then this is our favorite bread that we try to keep in the refrigerator. So Grandma Sycamore's white bread, these were on sale two for five. And then we get into a couple more of the buy five, save five. So we've got the Sunbelt Bakery. I grabbed two boxes of these. These ones are the peanut butter chip, and then also the almond sweet and salty with the little drizzle on top. I really like these ones because they're not quite as sweet. And let me put the price up here for you for those. And then these are the Thomas 100 calorie English muffins. They are the multi-grain. I think they're super yummy. And for 100 calories, I love putting a laughing cow cheese wedge on them and just toasting them up and eating them that way. So these are stockpile. So these are going into the freezer for me. And they were on sale as well. Then we have got more of the Ritz crisp and thins. So these were on sale at Smith's. Let me get my little cheat sheet here. They were on sale. And for those of you guys that don't have a Smith's, just so you know, it's a Kroger sale or a Kroger store, I should say. The Ritz were on sale for $1.99 and the Abada again, was $1.25 off. 
So amazing deal on this. My husband really likes them. If you've been watching my grocery hauls, you know this isn't the first time I took advantage of this offer. So I grabbed a barbecue and a cheddar and an original. Then I grabbed a Tabasco and a cream cheese and onion. So like I said, $1.99 minus $1.25, amazing sell for that. The Snyders were an Ibotta deal as well. You had to buy two of these to get this offer. And they were on sale two for six at Smith's. And when you bought two of them, you got $3.89 back on the Ibotta. So I grabbed the Jalapeno Ranch Twisted Pretzel Sticks and the Seasoned. These just looked so yummy and delicious. Then, these are something I've been wanting to try. I'm such a kid at heart. These stuffed puffs, the marshmallows that have chocolate inside of them so we can use them for s'mores. They were kind of spendy. They had an Ibotta deal on them, but they were still kind of spendy. So they were on sale for $3.99 and there was a 75 cent Ibotta. So still kind of expensive, kind of a little bit of a splurge, but I decided to go ahead and go for it. Then we've got these weird cookies. They're so weird, you guys. If they would have been a regular flavor, I probably would have gotten five packages of these. But look at these. So this is the Kroger brand, obviously, of Oreos or whatever you want to call it. So it's the Kaleidios or however you say that. Look at the flavor. It's a fruity cereal flavor. These were the only ones that were on sale. And so I figured, what the heck? Let's give them a whirl. They were on sale for $1.69 and there was a 75 cent I bought it off of them. I figure somebody will eat them. I don't know who, probably not me, but somebody in the house will eat them. So great deal. Like I said, if it would have been a regular flavor, we probably would have gotten more. And then let's jump right here in the front. I don't know if you guys have tried any of these dessert colliders yet. I got a Kit Kat, a Reese's, a Hershey's, and a York Peppermint Patty. So these were on sale for $2.99. And there was a dollar off of each one. So they're kind of spendy still. I mean, $1.99 for two desserts. But I decided let's go ahead and give them a whirl. This will be something yummy to have in the fridge for anybody that is feeling kind of snacky. Then back here, we've got more Ibotta deals. These are the Airheads. I grabbed two of the Extreme Bites. And these are the Rainbow Berry. And then these ones are the original flavor. And of course, these ones look like they're like gummy candy and these ones look like, I don't know, little circles. I'm not a huge Airhead fan, but my kids really like them. And so these were on sale for, what is it, $1.50 per, yes, they were $1.50 a piece and then there was a 75 cent Ibotta. So it ended up being 75 cents a pack. So a great thing to have in the pantry for either my kids or my nieces or nephews or whoever's over at the house. Then we needed some mail. It was part of the buy five, save five. So here is the price of that. Then for my French dips, I am going to be using this French onion soup. So I grabbed two of those. And the price of those was three for five. I'm gonna have to break that down for you guys because I only got two. So three for five. And then we jump into the Jaritos that my son absolutely loves. These are I bought a deal as well. And at Kroger, when you buy the individual ones, it's like, I think if you buy four, you buy five, you save a percent of that. So they're normally 89 cents a piece and then you save 10%. But when you bought five on Ibotta, you got a dollar off. So let me give you the total of those five right here. And his favorite one is the Mandarin, and they actually had that in the four pack this time. And the four pack was three forty nine, and there was an a dollar. A I can't talk, you guys. It's too late. There was a dollar I bought it off of this as well. So he's going to be super excited to see those. Then uh, this is an Ibotta dill as well. I don't know if you guys have tried this. I have not. I love the Baby Bells, but I know a lot of times when they add stuff to them, they're not as good. So it looks like there's six Baby Bells in here. And they're the Baby Bell Plus, and they've got vitamins A and B12 in there. And so let's take a look on the back here. So it's 50 calories for one piece, three grams of fat, no carbs, 
higher sodium, but it does have five grams of protein in it. And so I grabbed one of these. Let me tell you guys, this was a money maker off of Ibotta. So super excited when you can find a money maker. They were on sale for three for 10. So I paid $3.34 for this. And for Ibotta, you got $4.49 back. So I made almost a dollar by grabbing these to try them out. And then I bought just some banquet pies just because they were on sale for a buck. I meant to grab some different ones. I thought I had grabbed a ham and potato one, but I didn't. I grabbed the sausage and gravy deep dish, and these are really good with a fried egg on top. Not healthy, but delicious. <laughs> and then I saw these ones, and I've never had them before, and I was like, hmm, those look good. I might have been kind of hungry when I was shopping or something. And then our Smiths, all the Kroger's, have half gallon of milk on sale with the coupon for 88 cents for a half a gallon, limit of five. So I grabbed five of those. We are big milk drinkers in our house. And when you buy this much cereal, you better make sure you have some milk to go with it. And the last thing that I got was, and I bought it as well, and it's the Daisy Cottage Cheese. And normally I don't buy Daisy just because it's more expensive. But with the I bought it on this, then it ended up being, let's see, it was two for five. Sorry, I'm not even showing you guys. Oh, don't look at my stove. Uh, I boiled something over last night. Now I had a chance to clean it. So two for five, so two fifty a piece, and then a dollar off each. So they end up being a dollar fifty. So pretty close to the store brand. So I figured, what the heck? Let's go ahead and do it. So uh, that is my grocery haul. Let me tell you guys what my meal plan is. And I've got it in my same little notebook right here. And I told you guys that we're going to be doing our Dagwood sandwiches tomorrow, right? So we're going to do those. Then on the 11th, we're going to do barbecued chicken with some sides that we've got. Then we are going to do breakfast burritos. And then on the 13th, we're just going to do some fish sticks, tater tots, mac and cheese. Then on the 14th, we're going to do French dip sandwiches. Super excited about those. On the 15th, we'll have leftovers. On the 16th, I'm going to go ahead and make up some yummy egg salad. And we're going to do some egg salad sandwiches. On the 17th, we're going to have lasagna with garlic bread. And then on the 18th, we are going to do breakfast for dinner. Now, one thing you're going to notice, I went to the store there is not one lick of produce here. I don't know what was happening, but when I was talking to my friend Crystal from What Was Mommy Thinking, I was telling her about my Ibotta deals, and she's an amazing one to watch too. If you want to learn how to do Ibotta's, you want to learn how to coupon, she's your girl, so make sure you go check out her channel. They were out of almost all produce. You guys know where they have all of the... Let me turn you around. Here I am talking to you guys. You know where they have like all the bag salads and you know all of the cut fruit and all of that? Completely empty. Where they have like the avocado mash, guacamole, you know, stuff like that? Completely empty. Where they had the green onions? Completely empty. Tomatoes? Completely empty. Grapes? Completely empty. Apples? Almost empty. The ones that were there didn't look too good. Bananas? Empty. So I determined I will be making another trip to the store to get some produce because we do need some fresh produce. But let me share with you guys what this haul cost me. So let me add in a little Canva design I added right here because I'm super excited. Can you guys believe that? I was so excited when I figured that out. And you know, if you have an opportunity to start stockpiling and you have room to keep a stockpile it is going to save you so much money and our stockpile is completely full right now I don't even know where I'm going to put that cereal honestly I really don't there's no room let me show you guys why there's no room just in case you weren't here for my last video let me take you into where our stockpile goes all right look at that okay we've already got two rows of cereal. It looks like maybe four boxes can fit up there. So I'm going to have to clear out this area here. It's so hard when you're on camera because it's opposite. I'm going to have to clear out this area here. I can't do this to get some more cereal in because I don't have a choice. But 
in my family with teenagers and my husband, one of these boxes, you know, doesn't even feed everybody. So, but at 79 cents for a box of cereal or $1.19, I was sad. If you guys have a Kroger locally, they have Life cereal on sale for 99 cents a box. I wanted those, but my store was out, so I couldn't get those. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me today for my stockpile grocery haul. I hope you learned something. If you are interested in joining Ibotta, make sure you check out the link below. I think you get some extra points or something. I don't know, but it's a good deal. All right, everybody. Till I see you next time, keep on smiling.